Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to take a few minutes to update you on two things. One is on how Cheryl and I am doing. Well, I'm doing extremely well. I haven't lost my zip, my zam, my zowiem, or my swoosh. I'm ready to go for Jesus. And Cheryl's progressing nicely as well, so we appreciate your prayers, and we're standing in faith, and we're confident that we're going to be with you real, real soon. The second is with prayer night. I wanted to read this scripture to you because I want you to think about it a little bit differently. In Joel 1.14, it says, Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry out unto the Lord. A solemn assembly in the Bible is a gathering of God's people for the purpose of seeking him for some specific things. It might include purification or holiness. It could be that there's something that God's wanting to do in a group of people, and it's how you prepare for that moment. When Joel called the solemn assembly, there were two things. One, it was to sanctify fast. And two, it was to cry out to the Lord. And that was the simplicity of that structure. Now, some people can say, they can do that home at home, but that's only partially true. You can fast at home, and you cry, can cry out to God at home, but you cannot be a solemn assembly at home. You can only be that when you are gathered together as a people. Now, our prayer time was designed for those of you who couldn't make it to the church. We certainly want you to be able to pray, take care of your business at home. But we also want to have the serious disposition of coming to the Lord as a group of people in what's called a solemn assembly, that we're going to come before the king, and all we're going to do is cry out to God. That's all they were doing on the day of Pentecost, and there was no leader. There was no one directing it. They came, and they cried out to God. When you come every night, there are going to be prayer points out for you to cry out to God for. And then one of our pastors will pull you all together to pray at the end. But it's very important that this cry, as designated in the Hebrew language, meant to a united voice calling out to God for his help, his aid, and to meet our needs. So it's not quiet time. It's united voice time, where we all lift our voices at the same time and ask God to come and move in this coming year. Why don't you give it a try and understand the value of assembling ourselves together and so much more as we see the day approaching. We want to be a people that can pray of our own strength, leading of the Holy Spirit and initiative. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. I should complete quarantine in a few days. I can't wait to get back with you. I love you a boatload. See you soon.